Last one, Triple G's fighting Daniel Jacobs. Um, before we get into the fight, what do you, what do you as a trainer, what, what do you think about Triple G overall? Are there still questions about him? Is this gonna finally answer it if he's legit, or did he already kind of say that? He's I've always known he was legit from the amateur system when he beat a lot of our guys from the Team USA back in the amateurs. He's always been a legitimate guy. Same thing I could say about Lomachenko. I went up against him in the amateurs in the World Championships. I watched him every night in the World Championships. I watched him win gold medals. And then, you know, of course he did it in the Olympics and now he's doing it on a professional level. So there's no questions there that he is the real deal. He's the goods. He, he has the ability, you know, the skill level. Everything is there. Uh, just like anything else, everybody wants him to take on tougher challenges. And uh, until that happens, people are still going to ask questions. So, uh, no, he is for real. Does he beat Daniel Jacobs? You know what? I'm pulling for my man Danny in this fight. And uh, at this point, I can't make a, I can't make a, a decision on who I see winning that fight because I want to go back and compare some of what Danny's done in his last few fights to what he's going to be dealing with against Triple G. But I know that he's going to come out and he's going to be ready. I know his train as well. They're going to have him prepared and he's going to be ready. So check back with me in a few weeks. <laughs> what are we, eight weeks out from yeah, the fight? Yeah, check yeah. back with me in a few weeks on the winner of that fight. But I'm pulling for Danny in this one. What, what made you remember Triple G? What, what was it that he did that he stuck out? You see a lot of fighters in the Olympics. What, what, what was it about him that made him stand out in your mind? Was it just because he beat a lot of the guys or? He beat us. He beat us easy and, and, and he beat us bad. You know, we'd have guys that fought him and they would come back to the corner, you know, disgusted, you know, dejected. And we as trainers and coaches knew if we drew him what we were dealing with, he was just that good, you know. Um, you know, and he beat some very, very talented guys from Team USA. So I don't think that um, it's one thing that sticks out about him. It's all things that he does, and he makes it look so easy. Mm. He doesn't appear to be working hard at all. Damn. Does Canelo beat him? No, Canelo doesn't beat him. No, Canelo doesn't beat him. Why, why, why not? I think it's a lot like Mayweather when he fought Canelo. He'll school that kid. That's my thoughts. Is it? So it'll be more than the power. It'll just be the overall boxing? I think it's the overall boxing ability.